once again we'll take our 40 brush and we'll dip into the palette and on the face we're just going to start to lightly apply this color over the whole face in around the eyes over the forehead like so down to the chin and back up so obviously yeah it looks very plastic it looks very fake right in thinking that because it does okay so while that's drying we're then going to move on and we're going to take uh, the gold detailing and the brass detailing and apply that to the model as well so again we're using another uh, of a yellow color which is brass 70801 um, for any games workshop guys um, that actually have mostly games workshop paints um, Brazen brass, burnished gold, that sort of thing would probably be uh, your closest compatriot colours to that. And we're going to use our 3 zero brush, apply some water to it, and sort of spread out the paint a little bit. And now we're going to look at some of the details on the model, and we're going to decide what we're going to paint where. So, obviously, that big wolf on the front of his chest plate, that's going to be gold or brass. So when we just start applying that paint to it, like so. Just make sure we're getting as much of the details in as possible. and down round the belt buckle sort of shape here with the two wolf heads and that ring. The ring's going to be brass as well as the two wolf heads. And don't worry too much about getting paint into places you may not want it. Do round that ring as well. the other wolf head. That should be enough there. We're also going to do the two details down on the knee. We have a sort of a skull face as well as a wolf head down at the bottom. So we're going to do them as well. We'll do the wolf first. Which is rather hard to see under the camera. Let me tell you, it's not exactly easy for me to see either. And we're just going to roughly go around that skull, and we're just going to more or less just pick the details off the skull as if it was brass or gold plated, and it was just a segment of the knee pad that was done that way. rather than the whole knee pad, which would make it look a little too ostentatious, in my opinion. You can see those details now are in there. I think, on the subject of ostentatious, just for badness, we're going to try and do the bolts along the top of the other knee pad. So, tiny dabs of the brass. Not too much, and there's a little much there. That oh, ain't too bad. We'll also take the top of this tassel, this sort of wolf's tail piece, and we'll paint the joining rings brass 
and just right down onto the top of it. Don't worry about painting onto the actual fur as we have yet to colour that obviously. And we go around to the back of that part. We'll just continue the paint round. Like so. So background onto the uh, wolf claw. We have that big wolf symbol. Now that's gotta go uh, this colour. I'll just apply the paint to that. Once again, don't worry about being a little rough with it. Because we can fix that later. Quite easily. Maybe edge that detail a little better. Like so. And while we're at this side of the model, I'll also take the two rings that are holding these little symbols on and just give them the tiniest little touch of brass. There. And there. So if we go around to our other side, we'll do this final symbol on this side. And then we have one more thing to do. Well, we have another little ring there we can do very quickly. Like so. And then we'll do this symbol. Just went over a little bit there. Try to brush out excess paint that has got into some of the details like the eyes there. Uh, it will serve you better in the long run to make sure you've been as tidy as possible. And we have one last piece that we're going to do and it's the edging on that shield on his chest. Or on his shoulder. This is the part where it should tidy up any spillage that you may have had with the red on the inside of the shield. Or like in that case right there, it may just add to it. But that's okay, the highlighting color should sort that out later. And of course along the top of this shield as well. Well, I'll just tidy those lines up. And along the bottom as well. Encompassing that little ring that's sticking out the bottom. Like so. So we'll wash the brush off. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some mithril silver and we're going to paint uh, the wolf claws as well. So we have Citadel Mithril Silver 6155, that's the product code for that. Using the 30 brush once again, we're just going to dip into. Uh, the tub for this, we don't need it for the palette because this is the only parts that are actually going to need the mithril silver, we hope. 
And if we go around to one side, and we just take the silver, run it from the top and to the bottom, top to the bottom. So, I'm just making sure that they're nice and tidy and even there. So on the underside, let's readjust this on his clamp a little bit. Make sure he doesn't randomly fall off again. You can you see the? other side of the claws there. These are going to be quite tricky for us to reach. So you're going to see my hand a lot in this bit. I'm just going to add some water into the cap just to thin this paint down a little bit.